This video is a mix of Q&A with a T-Line expert, as well as my opinions after a test ride. It's a pretty dense video, so feel free to use the index in the progress bar or in the description to get you to the topic you need. Thank you guys for your love and support. It seems like you guys enjoy my meta reviews, so I will continue this route. I hope this video will help you with your buying decision. Let's get to it. The holes, this one. Yeah, and then water could get in there and things like that. Can it? It can. But yeah. at the same time, like if water let's say goes in there, let's say that bit there, yeah. it's closed off. So this is sealed. Just, yeah. So technically it would just sort of sort of come out and you can kind of clean it pretty easy. Sure, 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 sure. Also titanium doesn't really like corrode yep. uh, with water and things like that. What about this end? Is it is this an empty tube that water can go uh, through? It's an empty tube, but I believe it should go come, to yep, come yep. out of there, I think. Uh, we have I haven't actually asked them. I should have asked them. <laughs> Uh, when the question came up, technically it shouldn't, too much water shouldn't get in there and then it should really cause any issues. Uh, I did see during the manufacturing process that there is a hole here. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking so maybe it sort of go down it's, it's well. a way of relief. Yeah. And this is hollow underneath, yes. right? Yeah. That's where the seat post comes through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it all kind of connects to it as well, yeah. This is hollow. No, this is not hollow. This goes straight into the bottom uh, bracket. This one goes straight into the bottom bracket, but then it should have that bit as well that sort of goes into where the seat post is. Yep, yep, so yep. It should still... There's some vent. Is this going to be the production version? Because there's some marketing material we're showing it's smooth. Yeah, so this one is just our like demo model for, I think for one of the ones they showed us. Yeah, this one was a little bit smoother, so it wasn't as bumpy as this one is. Uh, do you know the weight of the frame on its own? We don't know those things just yet. Okay. Uh, at some point we will do, so at some point I'm pretty sure they're going to do some sort of like, we already asked for it, but some sort of like card that will tell us each card individually how much they weigh. Yep. And then we can talk about it from there. How are they self-aligning? So they have... So as you remove that. Oh, right, yeah, that's, that's perfect. It's, uh, it sort of has like a little sort of bolt in there that basically screws onto mm -hmm. the bolt. Yep. So it doesn't allow it to actually, it'll only come out a certain way, uh, but then it doesn't allow it to actually sort of rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it's just, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, that's it basically goes about that much, but it shouldn't go more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time you close that up and then you want to like do it, Yep. It should just kind of stay in the same spot. So technically, you shouldn't even be able to touch that. Yeah, to yeah, to, yeah. As you unscrew it, and yep, then you that's fold enough, the back. Sorry. Yeah. And then you fold it back up again to be able to just, at some point, there might be a new record for someone trying to like, unfold and fold the bronze. That's right, that's right. Uh, right now, it's like under five seconds. Now that you mentioned that, you know, what's up with the, the quick release now? That's, so that's that new. is two buttons that you press here and then it just comes out. Yep. Uh, and then that goes underneath the work, which is just magnetic. Yep. So it just stays there pretty nicely. Nice. After you unfold it, you just basically take it out. Yep. And then you just. Sometimes you need to be a little bit forceful with it. But oh. Was that a turn push or just a push? I think they say that it has like a, an alignment bit, but it doesn't have anything. Okay. Just, you just gotta like push it in. But sometimes just a bit of a hustle, but it's kind of gonna okay. be quite sort of like press push. Well, let me know. It's just so light, it just feels mm. it's, it's different. So it's not falling pedal. Strange because it's sort of hollow. Oh, it feels more hollow. Or something. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? So the pedal comes off somehow, right? Yeah, two two finger button. That's it. Yeah, I quite like this. Oh, there you go. The whole rear end from here and this whole bit here is basically the P line. line. Yeah. Yes. Right. Same exact. Same exact bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from the 
yeah. but from these, which are slightly different compared to the pea one, they're supposed to be a lot easier to remove. And the water's carbon, uh, both the M and the S, uh, the medium and the low, basically, uh, fit onto the same stem. Yeah. So you don't actually have like different stems as, oh, as if you right. have on the C line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just one stem. Uh, height and then both uh, yep. mid and low bar will fit onto it. Obviously, the only thing is that you have to change the cables. So basically, what you're saying is, I could get the urban or the one, but I could get it as a low or a high, and then the high is the curved. Yeah. The low is the straight bar. Yeah. The bars, we I think they're a slightly bit wider. It has a little bit more control over it. Yeah. To prevent the thing from rubbing against the. I think they just put like a little sort of uh, plastic sort of. Yeah transparent bit just to kind of stop it from rubbing too yeah, much yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of ruining the carbon yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah okay so this is really just a sticker that you could replace yeah. Yeah, over time much. yeah so if the sticker kind of wears out you can just sort of just replace it replace. question about the stem here is this the, the same plastic sleeve that they have so this whole bit here is different mm -hmm. but the seat post sleeve inside should be the same okay because um, it still fits the same uh, diameter it's the same diameter the same diameter for all the other seat posts ah so you could change this back to steel if you want if you wanted to yeah yes um yeah the seat post is uh carbon yeah then it has a little bit of uh like a 0 0.3 millimeter like uh, steel around it mm -hmm. to kind of like protect it a little bit more yeah it will wear out a little bit quicker uh, in terms of like the color uh, compared to like a normal steel uh, uh, the, the black edition yeah um, so I don't know if you can see yourself right now but around like here you can see there's like some lines already I see so over time you'll see more lines coming through around the whole seat post which is like the carbon underneath okay um, so that will be like something that happens to it that's fine thanks yeah. for being but honest once it does, yeah once it does it actually looks a bit cold but I'm it's kind of like sure. uh wearing a pair of jeans i guess yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> also the seat post the carbon one only comes in the standard and the extended one the okay. telescopic one is still a steel one still the normal steel telescopic one. okay the saddle has carbon rails which are oval shaped the new pentaclip can accommodate both round and oval rails the black screws you see right underneath the chain enables you to remove the chain ring without you having to replace the entire chain set. Some say you could gauge how many folds this prompted had based on the size of that spot created by tire rubbing. The chain is like a 10 speed chain from like a mountain bike yep. or a road bike. Yep, 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 yep. And then the, the four uh, smaller one, smaller cogs are from a mountain bike as well. Okay. Uh, from like the gearing. Uh, this bit here, or the gearing bit here is mm -hmm. like designed by Brompton. That, they gave us the, the exact weight of it. I think they said it's about 60, 60 grams, grams so. yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's like the only part that they've advertised it. To move your folded Brompton around, you need to tilt it at an angle because the mudguard wheel doesn't actually move. See, it doesn't budge when I try to push it. If you tilt it too far back, the suspension block would start rubbing against the ground. When folded, the bike is actually quite stable. It doesn't tip over when I push it on its side. Overall, it's quite easy to maneuver on its easy wheels. The black block indicated by the arrow is the new dual locking seat post system. In the old system, to lock the rear wheel, you need to put the seat post all the way down because the stopper is at the bottom where the green arrow is indicating. If I lift the seat halfway up, you could unlock the rear wheel. In the new system, the seat stem stopper is repositioned at the yellow arrow. So when you pick up the bike, even though the seat is halfway up, the rear wheel won't unfold itself. You'll need to pick up a folded Brompton when you need to board a train. The ride on the T-Line is really stiff. I could feel every crack on the ground. And this is because of the Schwabe 1 tires, which are very high pressured, and the stiffer suspension block. I could definitely change that on my Brompton to get the same experience. Another thing you notice is the hub. It sounds a lot louder, and it sounds like a road bike. Because it's so light and the Schwabe tires have very little rolling resistance, on a single push I could actually glide really far. 
feel like most people will change those, especially if they're going to use it every day. What did you change it out to? Now it's on races, 10 watts, like really easy to take off, and but they still last a really long time. So now we see they have Jubilee to... Uh, That's tubes. right. Yeah, I recognize the orange. The orange, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Expensive inner tubes, but... Well, 20 quid, like, right? About 30. 30, uh, okay. Yeah. But they are like, I think it's about 20 grams lighter or so, something That's like that. 60, actually. Schwabe is 90 grams. This is like 30. Yeah. Looks like we have to wait perhaps a whole year to get, the... get them like mass production. Yeah. yeah, another whole year. The first 500 customers technically have three services. That's when they can come back and give us feedback on it. And then if there's anything like, you know, let's say some point over here might be a bit too fragile or something like that, we'll yeah. give it back to them and maybe they'll reinforce it. That's right, that's that. right. Yeah. Any plans about electrifying it? Not at the moment, no. What about the P-Line? Any? Uh, potentially in the future. So what um, you're saying is they're actually considering it? Uh, they have plans for it. The, um, the fork here, right? Is it, is it possible that you could change it out back to the steel or the titanium? Let's say a person wants it's to... It's a different system. Unless mm -hmm. they make another... It's almost like a road bike system. So you actually have the... Yep. The bit that goes in there and then you actually screw it onto... So, so it actually screws onto that bolt basically and that holds onto yep. the, the fork itself. So it's a, a totally different system. Uh, from so if they from make, that. From that, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if they make uh, like a titanium, uh, sorry, titanium or even like a, a steel version of it, mm -hmm. uh, then you'll be able to. Uh, or if a third party manufacturer makes it, yeah. I'm for sure someone sure. will make it at some point. So really no chance to electrify it until the forks are out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, because obviously you don't want to electrify a carbon fork. Yeah, no. This spike is an optical illusion. You don't expect it to be this light, but you could test the weight at home. Just lift up a dumbbell that's 8 kg. This bike is a performance bike. It can help you break personal records. If you couldn't do it with your heavier bike, you might be able to do it with this bike. So it's great for people who find value in improving their mental and physical health with technology. With a bicycle, you're rewarded with outdoor scenery and outdoor communities. At this price point, you can get a full-size road bike with the same weight class. So consider the T-Line if you need to maintain your existing living space, which is a premium these days. I hope you found this review helpful. If you'd like to see more, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.